Hello, my neighbor has given me a, a buck knife to sharpen. This knife has already uh, uh, been, well, maintained pretty well. It's fairly sharp. I'm going to get it a lot sharper. And uh, I'll show you just what I'm talking about momentarily. I'm going to be using a, uh, a set of whetstones here. We're going to be using a 3000 grit Japanese water stone as well as an 8,000 grit Japanese water stone. We're going to be finishing with a strop. This is just a leather strop mounted on a piece of wood. There's a smooth side and a rough side. And with just these three items here, I'm going to get this knife sharp enough to uh, shave the hair off your arms or shave your face. I'll be back. Okay, I want to show you how sharp this knife is right now with a, a piece of paper, just to give you an idea. It cuts the paper, however, there's some resistance. It's not cutting easily. Okay, watch when I'm done with the knife, the difference. Besides the stones, we're going to be using these clips today. Uh, the clips are available at the site, and you get two clips, a large and a small. They're stainless steel, uh, they're pretty nice quality, and they're made to fit right over your knife. Don't scratch the knife. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to use the large one in this knife. just goes right through like this, and the clip gives you the perfect angle. You have to adjust it for each specific knife. Uh, fits on pretty nice. There you go. When that's sitting on the stone, I'm going to get a consistent angle. Okay, we're going to move over to the sink. I've got a, a water set up to keep these stones nice and wet. Okay, as you can see by this cool <clears throat> wooden jig, holds it right in place above the sink. There's no need to soak the stone because we're just going to get it wet like this. Continuous flow of water as needed. Uh, we're going to start with the 3000 grit because the knife's already fairly sharp. And again, the clip lays it perfectly flat at the right angle. All you do is go like this and continue your strokes. Repeat, repeat. You can see it's taking a little bit of metal off. Perfect angle. Turn it over. Repeat. By the way, I am wearing Kevlar gloves. These are cut resistant. Uh, much safer and you get better grip. I kind of like the control and the grip. Okay, once you do a few strokes on each side, uh, you can switch to the finer stone. Leave that one in the sink. This is an 8,000, and I've added a piece of wood so the stone fits nicely. Same deal. A little bit of water on here, and we're going to do uh, uh, maybe 15 or 20 on each side. Okay, let's check this knife out. Got a piece of paper here, and uh, I can show you it's a little sharper. There's basically no resistance now. It's sharp. Let me get a little bit sharper. I'll be right back. Okay, I did just a few more strokes. Same thing. And then we remove the clip. And we're going to check it on a piece of paper. You can see the knife is considerably sharper. There's less resistance on the paper. Now, to put a, a really fine hone on it, we're going to use this leather stroke. And all I do is strokes from the heel to the tip. Repeat. Turn it over. Got the smooth side now. Okay. Let's check this knife on a piece of paper. Oh, there you go. I could easily shave my face with this. It's very, very sharp. So. I uh, hope you can see that, and uh, 
once again, a good test for a knife is it's not just paper, but can you can you consistently cut really thin pieces of the paper? I really like this leather strope. Uh, we make these, you can get them at the site, and it's so easy to use. Any knife, you just pick up your knife and give it a couple strokes, and right away your knife is polished and it's sharper. So I'll show you once again how sharp this knife is now. It's just, uh, it's, it's good to go. So I would say it's about as sharp as it was from the factory, maybe sharper. Not that hard to do with the right tools and the right equipment. So check it out, visit the site, pick up your uh, clips, give you the right angle. They're like 10 bucks. Japanese whetstones, all the different grits, uh, butcher blocks, pots, pans, knives, everything for your kitchen. Uh, there's some hunting items as well. I prefer Bakker knives. Bakker makes great Bowie knives in Germany, hunting knives. Uh, all kinds of high quality tools and equipment for sportsmen, for chefs. ChefDepot.com. It's the real deal. Thanks for watching.